Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss how to quickly repeat a task that we have already completed in AutoCAD. Without further ado, let's get started. Perhaps you have encountered a task that requires you to repeat it. In my case, I use SketchUp to create 3D models and then export them to AutoCAD file format so that I can open them in AutoCAD. I need to export the front view, right, left, back, and section separately after modeling in SketchUp. This exported file generates a new AutoCAD file. Each elevation view has its own file. This will also require me to change the settings for each file. This is extremely inconvenient because everything I did in the first elevation view will be repeated in the other views. To make things clearer, I'll show you what settings I usually apply to those AutoCAD files from SketchUp. This is an example of a SketchUp export file. As you can see, this is a raw file with no established layers or units. Layer 0, Profile Edge, and so on are the only layers visible. To improve the appearance of this elevation view, I'll need to use a different line weight on this drawing so that when I print it, it looks professional. I usually start by making some layers with varying line weights. To do so, I'm using this tool palette and clicking on everything I've created here to create different layers with different line weights. You can also use this layer manager to accomplish this. If you don't know how to use this tool from my tool palette yet, leave a comment below and I'll assist you. Going back, I'm doing this so that if I need to change the line weight of this line, for example, I can simply select it and change the layer to whatever line weight I would need. That's how important line weight to me. The units are another consideration. I also need to change the file's units to millimeters so that no problems arise when I mix this drawing with other files related to this project. If you fail to set the units of this file, when you try to insert it into another file, it may appear too small or too large because the units of those files are different. For example, another file is in meter while this file is in millimeter, millimeter is obviously thousands of times different from meter which is why it is sometimes larger or smaller than we expected. To address this, we must change the units of all files to a similar unit of measurement. As a result, performing those tasks in each exported file is inconvenient, boring, and time-consuming. Because those tasks are the same in each elevation view, we can record our every action here in AutoCAD so that when we need to do those tasks again, we simply press the play button and our PC will perform all of those repetitive tasks automatically. Assume I've finished modeling this house and want to export the front view. I'll simply set this view to parallel projection and front view, then file, export, 2D graphics, and export as AutoCAD. This is the exported file now. Let us now open this file. We must first record those tasks as previously stated. To do so, go to Manage and then Record. When we enable recording, we can see that this button changes from a circle to a square and this dialog box appears. The first thing I want to do is create a layer, so I'm going to click this tool and draw some lines with it. This line has predefined layers, so when I use them in this drawing, it will automatically create a layer that matches the layer of this line. So I have 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and so on. The next thing I want to do is change the scale of this drawing because it was taken from a 3D file where the unit of measure is meter and I want to use millimeter in this AutoCAD. What I need to do is press the SC key on the keyboard, then enter, to select all, enter, then specify the base point, then select the reference option by typing R, and finally specify the reference length. I want to scale this a thousand times, so I'll just enter 1 for reference and 1000 for new length. The model become bigger this time. To zoom in, just press, Z enter, then E, enter. As we can see, everything we did is recorded in this box. 
The next step is to delete these lines so they don't appear in my final output. After that, I'm going to change my units to millimeters. To do so, I'll simply type units to the command line and set it to millimeter. To, to save this file, I'll press Ctrl plus S. After that, we simply need to press this button to stop the recording. Let's give this recording a file name. We need to avoid using spaces, so I'll just use underscore as a spacer for this file name. Then click OK. Let us now see if it works. Let's export another SketchUp file, say the right side view. Set the view to the right. Then we'll go over File, Export, and so on. Let's open that file and see if the record is functional. As a result, this is our new exported file. Let's go to Manage, find our recording, and play it. It works well, as you can see, we completed all tasks exactly as before. The only difference is that it is now much faster. That's all for today and I hope you like it. See you on my next video.